What's up, I'm Vin, and today I want to show how to convert units of measurement with proportions. So we have this question here. Geoffrey the giraffe is 222 inches tall. We want to find Geoffrey's height in feet. So for this question here, what we need to know is we need to know that in one foot there are 12 inches. So 12 inches we could essentially say is equal to one foot. So this is going to help us set up our proportion. So what we could say is we could say 12 inches over one foot equals and just know it doesn't matter if we write inches over feet or if we had let's say wrote, let's say instead wrote one foot over 12 inches but what does matter is because Geoffrey is 222 inches tall we have to write 222 inches on top here because we wrote inches on top on the left side and now how many feet tall is Geoffrey well that's the question Geoffrey is x feet tall and we'll solve for x so now at this step what we're going to do is just cross multiply and we'll write our units at the end. So we have 12 times X is 12 X. And this is equal to, we have one times 222 is 222. So now to solve for X, we're just dividing both sides by 12. And for this next part here, let's just assume we don't have a calculator. We'll practice the long division. So what we have is we have 222 and we're dividing by 12. So now 12 goes into two, 2 is too small, so we're going to look 12 goes into 22 once. 1 times 12 is 12, so we'll subtract 12. 22 minus 12 is 10. Now we carry down the 2. And now this part might get a little bit tricky, so we have to think, well, if we look at 12 times 10, that's 120, but we need to get to 102, so this is too far. 12 times 9 is 108. It's still too much because we need to get to 102. But if we go back one more, 12 times 8 is 96. So that's the one. So 12 goes into 102 eight times, and then eight times 12 is 96. So we subtract 96. And from this step here, what we have is we have a remainder of six. And then once you run out of numbers, this is when you throw on your decimal. So we could throw a decimal here as well and just throw in an extra zero for us. And now we could bring down that zero and notice 12 goes into 60 evenly five times. And then five times 12 is 60, so when we subtract, we have a remainder of zero. So what this tells us is that x is equal to 18.5. So now to actually answer the question, how tall is Joffrey? What's his height in feet? Joffrey the giraffe is 18.5 feet tall. So that is a tall giraffe. 